guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Bridges. I am back with another Thrift With Me video. This morning we are hitting up several yard sales. I have got my sidekick, Emma, my granddaughter with me. So we are excited to get going, get in there and see what we can find. There's nothing too great and there's not a terrible amount of yard sales, but there's one that's really promising that's in my neighborhood that is a moving sale. And I thought I saw some good toys and things that she was getting rid of, but they don't open until nine. So we're killing time at a couple of other sales until then. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller, full-time school counselor, and I have an eBay store with my sister Karen, and we troll yard sales and thrift stores and all the things looking for undervalued crap that we can pick up really cheap and flip high on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button down below. All right, guys, let's go in, get started, and hopefully we will get there early enough that all the good stuff isn't gone. How much are the clothes? This depends. If you're looking for Lulu Lemon, it's twenty twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for shorts? Yes. Because it's Lulu Lemon. Yeah. So Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And other ones like this. Hi. Okay, let's walk. Wait, 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 wait. Hold Mimi's me, hold me hand. What do you see? No, we gotta go further in, okay? Maybe there'll be something for Emma. Oh, you see the bear? Yeah. Yeah, rawr. <laughs> We've had her for three weeks and it's been a steady stream of, oh, one more toy. Yeah, so. I know, I know. Right? You've done pretty good, haven't you? Right. Oh, um. Look at that. <gasps> Grandchild stuff. stuff and you get to unload it. Well, my daughter oh, brought it to my house. Stuff. Oh, you can uh, you, if you you're ever have a yard sale, I thought if I ever, are oh, you yeah. trying to force me into a yard sale? Come on. Well, we do. Oh, wait. this little jump, they just we might do the actually do the wagon though because <laughs> she can put her babies in that, right? Em? Like, I was about to yell at you, Em. That wasn't even you, was it? This is not made for strollers, sis. Alan Flasser. Looks interesting. Johnny, 
Oh, a Carhartt. What? Are you taking pictures with your camera? Mimi's right here. What's this? I don't know. Got to sit down. Okay, so Mimi can dig. What's this? Mimi can't get by. We gotta turn around. I can't get by. Ashley, come on. We have to go. What is the other Okay guys, I am back with the thrift haul portion of the video. In total, I went to three yard sales and then one estate sale. The estate sale is off camera because my GoPro was dead and I went without Emma. So the first three sales were just bleh. I mean, I did okay at the third one. The first one was a total waste of my time. She had like ridiculous prices. Used Lululemon shorts for 20 bucks and they were like a size four. So I just kind of pieced out of there really fast. The second sale, Emma did great at, but I did not find anything to resell. And then I do think that I found a um, bunch of good things, of decent things, nothing that's like a slam dunk or a home run or anything like that. But I did find some good stuff at the third sale. So for everything that I'm about to show you, I paid only $22. So the first thing I grabbed was this SpongeBob because I use SpongeBob in my classroom to get my kids quiet. It's my little call and response thing. So I figured I would get this for my classroom until I looked him up. He will probably sell somewhere between the 22 to 28 dollar mark. So I'm probably gonna resell him. Um, and I only paid two dollars for him. Then this I thought was interesting because it's Lacoste perfumes or parfums or however you wanna pronounce that. But I found several other different styles of this crossbody type of bag um, and they sold pretty decently some like most of them were selling around 28 to 30 something dollars so i thought this was a good pickup for three bucks and it's in great condition it looks like it has not even been used there's not even any wear on the bottom so really happy to pick that up oh these i just bought for my daughter she uses this these brushes and they were new and in the box so i picked up two for her I grabbed these only because they were new with tags. All of his clothing was just $2. And so I don't even know if it has the retail. No, it doesn't even have the price. But these are a size extra large, like cropped leggings. And so these should sell around $15 mark. I have picked this brand up one other time before and it is Johnny O. And it did okay. I had picked up a pair of shorts for boys. So this is a men's quarter zip, which is um, in a size extra large. So I haven't really looked up the comps, but it is in really, really good condition. No stains, no pulls, nothing. I'm guesstimating it'll go around 20, but I will definitely flash the comps up there for you. Now this, the only reason I picked up this because it was two bucks, this is by Civilized. And I just thought it was interesting because it had that, I don't know, anime, Pokemon vibe and it's embroidered. And when I looked up Civilized sweatshirts that are embroidered, they seem to hit around the $30 mark. This one is in really good condition. So I thought it was worth taking a chance on a new to me brand. Okay, 
And then this I grabbed just because it's Carhartt. It's in a size medium, but it's a nice little short sleeve plaid shirt. Probably not going to get more than $15 for it. This he only charged me a dollar for. This is just a Harry Potter Gryffindor scarf, but it is new with the tags on. Um, oh, I thought it was new with the tags. It's not. It's just got the... Oh, well, that was... That was a dumb mistake, but this thing was hanging off, so I thought it was a tag. But it's still in great condition, and with Halloween just around the corner, as well as Christmas, I figured this would be a good thing to pick up for anybody's Harry Potter fan. And then the last thing I grabbed at this yard sale was this Cavu purse. He only charged me two bucks for it, and it is in fabulous condition. Cute little crossbody purse, um, and I really liked the color, so... Probably going to get around $12 or $14 for that. Okay. Moving right. on to the estate sale, everything that I'm about to show you, I paid only $34 for. Is that right? $32 for. Don't want to shortchange myself. So the first thing, I thought at first that this was Jimmy, but I don't think it is. I think it is coins. It is coins and company from 2004. He is adorable. He has got some condition issues just from storage, but he's got his tag still on. Have to look up the comps for him and I have to clean, spot clean him, but he works perfectly. He sings, he moves, does all the things. So I'm hoping he's gonna bring around 20 to $24, but I'll flash the comps up there. Now, Rudolph was a big fat disappointment. I put batteries in him and his nose lights up and he moves, but he does not sing like he's supposed to. He's supposed to sing the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer song. So originally I thought that I was gonna lot up Sam and Rudolph together, but now I'm just gonna part them out because um, Sam is gonna bring me more money than Rudolph is. I, I nabbed these things just because they are brand new and in the package. This is a size CD, so that's a really good size to pick up. And then this is kind of like Spanx-ish. It's a satin skin body shaper in a size B. So would have liked it to be queen size, but you can't get everything that you want. Okay, you know how much I love Crocs. These Crocs were in great shape, really cute. I want to say they're a size seven, but I can't really remember. Yes, they are. They are a woman's size seven. I picked up two other pairs of shoes. I grabbed these Merrells because I love Merrells. Merrells move for me. They have a fabulous sell-through rate for me. Even if they don't go high, they usually go fast. So absolutely gonna pick these up. These are a gorgeous leather pair, really good shape, also a size seven. And then the last pair of shoes I got are these Mephistos, which are in fabulous condition. I mean, even the footbeds don't even look as dirty as normally when I pick up Berkeys and stuff like that, that the way they look. So these are a size 37, also a size seven, and fabulous, fabulous condition. I'm thinking these are gonna go 30-ish. I have to check the comps. This is for me, this is a pill holder for all my old lady medicines that I take every morning. All right, I got this because it is Peugeot from France. And when I looked up the comps, these things sell for about 15 to $20 for two bucks. That was worth it. Um, there was a salt shaker with it, but the salt shaker was not Peugeot. And the brand that it was, even though it was also from France, does not have the same sell-through rate as the Peugeot. So that's why I grabbed this one and left that one behind. Okay, I grabbed these vintage sheets because I love vintage sheets that are new and in the package. And these are West Point Stevens, which has, again, a decent sell through rate. This is a new to me brand, but holy Hannah, was I surprised when I saw the comps. It is Samuel, Samuel Dong. Um, so that's what, can you see? That's what it looks like. And it does not have a price on it. Oh, it does have a price on it, $99. But the sell-through rate for this stuff was really, really good. So I'm guessing I'm gonna get at least 40 bucks for this. Look at how pretty, it's just this pretty purple. I don't think it's a big size though. No, it's a size medium. But not a bad pickup. All of the clothes were only two bucks. Okay, then I grabbed this because it is such a high-end brand. Retails originally for 180 bucks. 
It is only rayon and nylon and a size medium again, but because it's such a high-end brand, I'm just gonna rip off the Steinmark tag and um, hoping to get about 20, 25 dollars for that. Then I picked this up because it is a decent size, a size 12, and it's White House Black Market. And for two bucks, I was not leaving this behind. Look at this beautiful, like houndstoothy type of jacket. I don't know if it's wool or not. No, it is cotton poly blend, but still really, really cute. My favorite, favorite brand, or one of my favorite brands, Michael Simon. I got a Michael, another Michael Simon embroidered sweater, only a size medium, but with all the glitziness and it hardly looks worn at all. Awesome condition. Hoping that this will go right around the $30 mark. And then just the last two items are clothing. Okay, I picked this up because it is Chico's. Now, I don't like selling Chico's without the tags, but it is a size one, so it's a large, but it's also animal print and travelers. So I thought for two bucks, that was worth picking up. And then the last item is also Chico's, but it is new with the tags. So this is a metallic jacket. It, oh, this is also in the travelers collection. Originally retailed for $109. This is in a size one and it is all the metallic glitz and style that you are so used to seeing with Chico's. All right guys, that is everything for this Thrift With Me video. As always, if you like thrifting content, hit the subscribe button down below, throw us a comment and hit the like button and I will catch you next time. Bye guys.